And hello and welcome to another episode of Exanima. I haven't played this game in a while. Which is mostly because I've been waiting for updates. But they were none. But they are working on some major updates. So I'm not complaining. Well, well, I've played this game a lot. <laughs> I tend to play it just for 10 or 15 minutes or when I have a pause at work. I just switch on uh, Xenema and just run some arena. Well, lately I've been tra playing around with uh, the big huge 200x. And I guess I can wield it a bit better now. Okay, let's give my guy a better haircut. Hello, cell phone. Welcome to the video. I don't know if you can actually see him. I shouldn't talk about what people are sending me. <laughs> oh, this looks weird. That's why we are going with it. Well, yeah, let's take it. So this is exactly the loadout you get in Expert Arena with the first enemy. And I haven't turned on the in-game sound. I will change that in a few seconds. Let, first off, let me kill this nice fella here. <laughs> Settings, controls. Let's turn on the audio volume, because I'm normally playing it without sound. Let's turn it even higher. Okay, 200x. It's really, really slow. The swing is slow, the upswing is slow, but damn it's t t doing damage and when you move around a bit you can cover some space on a map. Like you can see here. And now outside swing and the inside swing. And I traveled almost through this whole area. Just by swinging it around because your guy takes his huge steps every time he swings it. When you activate one of the walking directions. This is just walking forward. But this is walking forward sideways. Walking forward sideways. Oh, it's fun. It's actually fun to use. Um, you will run into problems with enemies that are running around with shields and fast weapons. You need to kind of bite the swings out and then punish them for doing a move. And inside swing. And if you're ducking a bit while doing the swing and then coming right over, which is what I'm trying to do here, you have pretty good chances of knocking the enemy up off their feet. But that's a bit hard to do with this guy because he's one of the, let's call them bigger enemies. I don't want to say he's fat. The thing with the X is you can power through some stuff, which makes it really good. Also, one hit, one kill. That's with fun of this weapon. Okay, this is the first enemy I'm taking serious. So, you can duck under the swings, which is really nice. Sometimes I'm swinging up, then I think, oh god, I won't be able to release my swing before he gets this. And then you can duck down, and you have a pretty good chance that this morning star will just pass you. And in swing! And in swing! Damn it, son! Do you need the snack? Because I took it from you. Okay, and let's walk by him. See if you see now where I end? I am here, and then I go straight off. And when he decides to do an in-swing, uh, outside swing while you're doing it, well, you actually pretty much always connect with his belly. And well, we all know Emma's aren't really good against axes because they are much slower. Sit down, son. And stay down. Or not. Or the yes. Yes. Do stay down. Do you need this knee? I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took a two-handed axe to the knee. Next fight! <laughs> oh, yes. Mrs. X Lady. Her axe is fast. Her block is bad. I 
hasn't pr I haven't pressed any buttons there, by the way. I just kind of um, tried to hook her neck with the backside of my axe. Well, sometimes works like this time. Always good. Okay, Mr. Sword. I'm afraid of you. I was afraid of you. <laughs> 200 X. Yes. I'm a beast. She's a problem. She has a shield. And a huge shield. Ouch. I'm wearing chain armor, but my arms are exposed. I don't like to have anything on my hands or on my arms with this weapon, because it will make you a lot sm slower. I'm of course trying to get her f to swipe her legs, but it didn't work out. And now she gets a free hit on me. It's very nice. ah, damn it. I sucked, I could get her belly. Ouch, ouch. And then she smashed me. Never good, never good. Enemies with swords and shields are the hardest, this is the toughest enemy to fight. This was an inside swing with much time on the swing. Okay, swing in, step forward, guarantee tip. And if he blocks, you have enough time to step out. Just do it. <laughs> Ouch. What are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Don't you know nothing? <laughs> Don't stay in this corner because you won't be able to swing with full force. Headshot. Sit down. Never get up again. You got bested by a Brocken. Basically means Hulk in English. Okay, inside swing. I'm always trying to come from her left side. Because if she's making a move, while I'm swinging, um, she will get the axe in the face. Problem is though, that most of the time she will be faster. I haven't figured out how to fight this kind of enemy yet. Because she always seems to be landing her shots even though I'm blocking. Like this time. Blocking. Blocking. I'm just trying to avoid her altogether. I have some range advantage, but not much. And she also seems to suck under my stuff. <laughs> sometimes I'm trying just to run her, run her over. And it seems to work. But only sometimes. I can't do it on a regular basis. Okay. Tried some Siku there. Missed completely. Now it worked, but not with enough force to actually bloody him. Just remember, you are doing damage as long as you can. Here's this chiming noise. If you see your blood, you are doing critical damage, which is the red damage. Sit down! Stay there! I really need a trick to get faster. Okay, I got her. I got her. Follow up swing! You thought you could stay up there again. No, you can't. Because I am a dickhead. <laughs> Let's get her clothing. Let's get her stuff for the hands and arms. Um, the reason I'm using this is um, it gives you a bit of slash and pierce. One thing. Uh, a bit of slash and pierce projection. And it's not heavy at all. You shouldn't get more than that though. <coughs> Let's always go for his legs. If you see the opportunity to hit one of his legs, go for it. He has pretty good armor on his upper body and sometimes even headshots won't really interest him. Interest him. If you have a weapon with much impact, you can go for headshots, but if you run around with a sword or something like that, it's just easier to go for the legs. And I have tons of times 
with time, not times, with this huge battle axe to kind of figure out where I want to hit him. And if I can, oh, damn it. I thought I could pull him down there. This is a bad camera angle. Hey, he's a bit faster than I expected. Ouch. <laughs> This Hellebard really surprised me. No, it's not a Hellebard, it's a Baldish. So, uh, let's actually come up with a trick here. Okay, uh, let's kill Mr. X. Ouch! Oh, that was a nice swing. Sometimes I'm not even mad that I got hit, just because it looked cool. Red versus blue. Red wins. Fight! Dum 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 dum. Okay, um What is this? This is the axe. I want the morning star. And the shield. For this next fight. Cause this lady is a tough opponent. In my opinion, she's the toughest opponent in the game. Like in the arena section of the game. Um, only guys better are, of course, the, the knights because they have this huge armor and take 500 swings to get him down. But she is pretty high up there. It's just because she knows how to use the shield. She doesn't fall. Often for faints and that kind of stuff. <laughs> I threw so much bike into this swing that I fall over myself. Fell over myself. Oh, in case you don't know my channel, I'm doing this to get better at English. That's uh, more. I'm often doing mistakes and I'm trying to get better at it. So if I'm saying a word and then say it. Sorry, I need to concentrate. If I'm saying a word wrong and then I try to repeat it multiple times, it is because I'm trying to avoid mistakes. It's pretty hard to play games like this and talk as it is. Doing it while talking a foreign language, it gets harder. Believe me. Ow! Whoa! Have you seen that? That was a perfect hit on my face. I'm almost ashamed. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna run the novice arena. I don't think I can pass the main arena at this point. Maybe a little later. Maybe this will follow. And it's just too fun not to play it. Okay, let's do a pass swings. Maybe I can show you some tricks. Make a good trick as always. Um, swing it. Wait a second, I need to have uh, the right. If you just swing the weapon while having like two steps or two, three steps between you and the enemy, um, when you swing it, start swinging, and he comes in with a swing, you almost uh, always will hit his belly like I did there. And if you're not, and he is inside, like he's standing right in front of you, you step back and swing fast like this, like. Go in and then do the second swing really fast while he's right in front of you. This leads most of the times to a good hit. And if he's not stepping in, you can always come up in front of him. Like, and then you have enough time to do your second swing. Also, if you're ducking while doing the second swing, it will be faster, but it will have less range. But it will be a leg sweep. And leg sweeps are the best attacks in this game. Because most of our enemies don't have any armor on their feet <laughs> and their weapon will be higher. <laughs> See? Leg sweeps. If you're doing an overhead with this weapon, you uh, need to keep in mind that it could easily happen that you will fall over after your swing. <laughs> so this is a huge risk. Well, sometimes you need to take risks like I did here. Shield enemy, come with an inside swing, follow up by an outside swing. Inside, 
outside. Just keep that in mind. You should be alright. Stay out of his range. If you are in range and he's swinging. And out. Inside swing. Inside, by the way, is always over the left hand. That's why it's called the inside. Because you kind of have shorter range. While this outside swing is slower but has more range. This was working out all right. Let's come with an overhead. <laughs> I hit this. Uh, this is what happened. This is what I was t trying to tell you earlier. That you could easily tumble over. So. Whoa. Also with the inside swings, um, you have the chance of bypassing the enemy block. Come on. Duck down, duck down. <laughs> I was just taking that to avoid his ammo because he would have struck me. You have this huge problem with the two handed axe that you turn around really slowly after a swing like this and try to avoid him altogether because the w because you're turning so slowly, sometimes he has. Like a full-on shot on the back. Just try to step back as fast as possible and duck down. You might fall over, but it's better than a guaranteed hit on your back. Come on. You shouldn't have much more life left. Duck down. Come on. He's blocking. No. Gotcha. Also, I want your cap. Overheads are really good with her because she's really bad at blocking him. Overheads in general are really good with the two and X, but it's hard to hit them. Not hard to hit him, it's hard to land him. And to hit him. Hit him was right. I wanted to say land him. Because you need to aim where the enemy is going to be, not where he is right now. Yeah, this was almost perfect. But he did his swing too late. In general, if enemies are swinging from the right, they will step to the left after it. And if they swing from the left, they will step right after it. So it's kind of a guessing game. And you can fasten up your swing by ducking down. Ouch. Oh, was a leg. You always have to keep in mind that every enemy is swinging two times, at least most of the time. But what you can do there is, um, if you know that the second swing is coming, you can often step in and land a hit on, his, on your own before his backswing lands. Okay. Let's fight her a bit smaller this time. Hit the shield. That wasn't smart enough, I guess. Okay, inside swing. And step back. If inside swing isn't hitting, step back immediately. Because these little girls are really fast with their little swords. Ouch, son. Okay, she should fall over if I even blow some air on her. I could thought that she would fall over. Because this was a full on hit with one of the heaviest weapons in the game. Ouch! Damn it! Too much hubris. Too much hubris. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Uh, be sure I will do another episode at some point. Alright, see ya.